Brad, we gotta go. Come on. It's it. We're about to be live. Come on. Honey, let's go. Come on. Why Brad. are you always like Brad, this? You're literally Brad. always pulling Brad. me. It's like sit down. Have other we're things live in three seconds. My life. I was just like Brad. shopping, and I was, you guys took me away from Chanel, now. and sit, I was literally sit shopping, down. and I was live in three, already we're already two. recording. You guys. What is up, beautiful? And thank you for being here today. Oh, girl. Okay, so we're watching some henna videos. And if you don't know what henna is, then that is understandable because honestly, I don't know that much about it either because I have never in my life used it. Would probably not recommend it exactly, but what we're gonna see what, what happens in these videos because I have actually never watched somebody color their hair with henna before. This is totally new to me, probably new to a lot of you. It's basically a natural way of coloring your hair. It uses plant extracts to color your hair. We're gonna learn more about it in the actual way of coloring your hair with it today. And I will talk to you more about my opinion on it in a second, but why don't we just do it? Let's get it started. Let's watch some people color their hair with henna and let's see how it goes. Let's do it. All right, our first video is by a girl named Plunder Bunny. I love it. Love the uniqueness in that name. <laughs> This is called Dyeing My Hair Red with Henna. Perfect. Let's watch it. Greetings, boys, girls, and gender rebels. I'm Penny Underwood. Gender and rebels? Today you yes. are joining That's me. for a hair adventure. Specifically, a henna hair adventure. Ooh. Now, I've been dyeing my hair my whole life, but since about age five, the very first time I dyed Same. my hair was actually with henna. Begged my mom to allow me to dye my hair. Uh, yes! I live like, oh, for this girl. And that's all natural, so this I'm is not doing it. Literally um, me. You guys can see behind the scenes of me when I'm not on camera. This is what I act like. After that, I I'm just like right now, and I am very, very happy. Okay, um, so that is henna. That is henna color, which she has in there right now. So henna itself is just a plant. It is a leaf right. that, when dried, it. deposits. A it looks like matcha, and I love matcha, so this is getting me excited. Ridiculous red dye. Henna itself is only red. Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. What? I've seen like black henna and brown yeah. henna and blonde henna. What? what are you talking about? Henna itself started as just red, but then they started adding, for example, the plant indigo, which right. is it's also just a plant. And when it's dried, its leaves deposit a ridiculous bright, bright blue color. So they can make it into all different colors now. So dye she's hair. mixing with this water. It can result rather Hot water. catastrophic occurrences, especially the ones that have metals and stuff. This is the issue with henna, and this is why a lot of hairstylists don't like it. When you color your hair with henna, and then you go into a salon and you try and get, you know, your hair lightened or bleached or whatever, sometimes it reacts really weird. I've had times where the foils will literally explode. Like, they will become so large, they'll almost explode on you. Which is so concerning, but most of the time you ask the client, you're like, what's going on? Why is your hair doing this? Because this is not normal. And they're like, oh, I used henna before. And you're like, Oh, so like it really gets a bad rep in the hair industry because it's always like an issue for us to try and take it out. You can't color over it. It's just always a problem if you don't know how to deal with it. We're not taught how to use henna in hair school, period. So it's quite an interesting thing. Those on previously dyed hair can just absolutely break your hair and oh. turn it like green. This is crazy. That's a hair color. It looks like green mud. However, I could be wrong because this I seems like so this much work. Hair. I'm curious to know why these people decide to use henna instead of using hair color, like regular demi permanent hair color, because henna does not lift your hair. It is basically like a demi permanent color. It only deposits color on top of your hair color. So you're not gonna be able to lift it past the color you're at. You can only go darker. You can't go lighter with henna or you can change the tone of your hair color. So henna starts off this ridiculous bright green color and it actually smells very strongly of matcha. So if oh, you're a person joyous, I love like, matcha. you wanna have a little bit of acidity mixed in with water. The acidity can be in the form of lemons or limes or vinegar fresh brewed coffee or fresh brewed tea. And I opted for the easiest option in my house, which was fresh brewed coffee. You put coffee in with it? Anything that's acidic. This is mind blowing. This is so strange. The rest, you just have to keep mixing. The next step is actually letting the henna cure overnight. Let the what? Cure Hold up. So you have to make coffee, mix up, leave it overnight, then apply it to your hair, and I'm pretty sure you have to wait a long time with it on your head. So this is a lot of work 
to literally not have damage in your hair, even though like demi-permanent hair color never damages your hair because it's not lifting at all. It's just depositing color. So I think I don't quite understand yet why people go with henna. These people probably don't have a lot of knowledge about real hair color because if they did, I have no clue why they're using henna. That might just be me being ignorant and not really understanding this whole thing, but that's my opinion. I don't know. But let's keep watching. Let's see Let's see if we get a little more knowledge about this. So I left mine to actually cure overnight, but as long as you leave it for two hours, it's fine. Okay. But as it's it gives curing, you more color if you leave it overnight. Okay, got it. Wow. So, so you just like basically put mud done. on your head um, and mush it in. If you and you have a lot of hair slash are lazy, spend a long time searching through oh your my hair God. for dry patches. Also, look at those. Sure properly. Those are now, some. With, with henna, as with all hair dye, more is better than. Sorry, I... So don't skimp. Patient. <laughs> Sorry, I can't quite pay attention right now. I am very gay, however. Um, there's some big she things on her chest. Anyways, you know, back to the hair. So we're putting this literally poopy time mud time on our so. hair, and um, this is gonna yeah, color it, apparently. Red. To, to Makes sense to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> um, something else to note about henna, it does actually take a few days to cure. Um, and that's after you've washed it out. So, uh... Yo, y'all are nuts. I'm sorry, you a henna girl? I don't know about this, man. I don't know, this is a lot. Your hair has to cure? What? So you first have to mix it for three hours with coffee or lemon or whatever and then you have to let it sit overnight and then you have to put it on your head and it takes hours to sit in and then you have to let it cure till the color shows up what happened to regular hair color i want to know five hours is about the minimum amount of time that you want to do it if you can sleep with it in your hair overnight that would be ideal We're also can overnight. we talk about the mess you want to have this stuff stains this just in it this is stressing me out it will die on whatever surface <laughs> remember to never so ever touch henna ever her yeah, white bathrooms. Oh, I'm scared for her. Um, some hefty sacks. Miss Blun then, Plunder uh, Bunny, yo, chest is like. wild, man. Stops depositing color once it is <laughs> this dry. is what I'd look like as a female. So, Just like busting out of my shirt. Five hours and it still turned out ridiculously beautifully. So even if you don't have like a several day window to, to reserve for henna, it should work out just fine. And yeah, this was the end result. I am ridiculously happy with it. I think that the color is beautiful. You can um, see it died at um, the wazoo because at about- like, Sorry, I'm gathering my thoughts here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I'm gonna be honest, Plunder Bunny, um, it doesn't look that different. And for that much work, I would expect it to look like, whoa, like vibrant and gorgeous and soft and flowy and shiny. But it kind of just looks like it, it, it like colored some spots, some spots no, some spots are like gray, some spots are like orange. It looks very uneven, I'm gonna be honest. And I just know for a fact, if you use like permanent hair color, it would be so vibrant and your hair would be so soft. And like reds in permanent hair color are just the prettiest thing ever. Oh, like a nice red, there's nothing that feels more special to me. Like a nice ruby deep red, it's really pretty. Um, so I don't know, for me, it's that was not worth the effort. But hey, we have a couple more videos to watch. Let's see if anybody else convinces me of this henna hair color. But I'm thinking probably not. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Plunder Bunny. I'm sorry that I ripped your hair to shreds. Love you so much. Live your extra life, all right? Okay, so the next video is by Praise on Anna Trolls. Another name I can't read. It's not just a weekly occurrence now. Okay, this is called How to Turn White or Gray Hair into Black Natural with No Chemicals Hair Dye Step by Step. Mm -hmm, great. So we're mixing the same matcha situation again, this muddy matcha, which just looks so appetizing to me. I love my matcha. Any of my matcha lovers out there, like, What's up, girl? <laughs> How you doing? Ah. Okay, so this woman has a lot of gray hair. And if you don't already know, gray hair is very hard to cover because basically white hair is unpigmented hair. There's nothing inside of it. So you have to replace all the primary colors within the strand in order to get a really pigmented, nice, even coating on the hair follicle. Basically, she's gonna have to fill the hair in a sort of way with, I think she's gonna do orange, and then she has to go over that with black. That probably doesn't make any sense to you guys who aren't hair colorists, but to those of you who are, that's what's going on. That actually kind of looks a little bit like hair color, like really gross green. I don't understand how that turns orange. That's so 
like weird to me. So she's basically filling the gray with orange. Wow. It does look kind of fun though. It's like playing with mud. Like I kind of like that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yeah, so she filled the hair with orange, like I said, to give it pigment back. Wow, that is very orange. All right, so we're now putting indigo on top of the orange in order to turn all of her hair black, which seems like this is gonna work. She just filled the hair and now she's gonna deposit more black tones onto it. So pretty nifty. I mean, it's pretty cool that you can do this all with natural plants. Oh my God, that stuff looks so bizarre though. Weird, man. Wow, it's dark. Science, man. It's cool shit. <laughs> wow, that looks actually pretty good. I'm excited to see what the outcome of this one is. Whoa. Okay, it completely covered her gray hair, which is pretty cool that a plant can do that. Like that's pretty impressive. But here's the thing. If you're not a colorist, you probably wouldn't notice this, but with henna, you, you're not choosing the types of tones that go in the dark color. You're not choosing like, hey, I want some warmth in there. I want a little bit of cool in there. I want a little bit of red. I want a little bit of this, whatever. That's how you formulate hair colors in a professional setting. Like my hair, like this is not just blonde. Like, you know, as a colorist, we don't just call it blonde. We call it like an ashy blonde, which is, you know, a color that has more blue tones inside the color mixture. That way it turns your hair more white gray instead of like yellowy white. We mix in more purple and blue tones or one or the other in order to make blonde hair more ash colored. That's because purple cancels out yellow. Basically, you can't do that with henna. You get kind of like a one size fits all thing. And to me, this looks super inky. And if you don't know what inky is either, this is a very descriptive. This is a very um, technical video I'm filming today. If you don't know what inky means, it's literally like paper with ink on it. Like it just looks very dense and like there's no shine to it. There's no quality. There's no like, I don't know. There's no lust to it. It just looks kind of like black was just put on the hair. It just doesn't look like professional to me. Anyways, it does cover gray, it's kind of cool. We have one more to watch. This one, I saw the thumbnail and her hair looks pretty cool. So Crystal Collins is gonna dye her hair red with henna and hopefully this might be the last one and the best one. So let's watch. And this is uh, actually vegan, organic, cruelty-free, chemical-free, preservative-free. Love it. No PPD, no ammonia, no peroxides, no pesticides, no metallic salts. Cost me $12.99 on $12. Amazon. Okay. And hoping that I'm gonna be happy with it. Love that, love that. Love that. I've got my uh, shirt that I don't really care about, even though it's a Doctor Who shirt. Really Shady. Doctor Who would be not be happy about this. And I've got my okay, we're models. coloring. We're going in. Yeah. We're doing it, honey. Let's see if this is finally a good henna job. So we are going in with that henna again. It looks like muddy shit. And that's fine. Whatever you're into, man. Whatever you're into. I'm into some weird shit, and so is this girl, apparently. I just really want to see the outcome of this. I don't even care. <laughs> We've learned enough about henna today. I just want to know what happens to her hair. It looks a little more red than other, and other people's. I have this on my head for like an hour. Some people do it after three hours, so I don't know how- I heard five, hair. girl. I, I heard five somewhere else. Yeah. Five hours is about the minimum amount of time that you want to do it. So when I get back, wish me luck. Good luck. Okay, so we finally have the reveal. Oh, and wow. I just washed this out of my hair last night, so it's the really vibrant color that you get right afterwards, and it should be like a Whoa. deeper tone. Whoa, okay. Next this is how it looks, and I am very excited because this is the color I've been going for for like. Okay, that looks really red. I don't know if her settings on our camera are tr like correct, true to color, because that is so red. But again, she definitely missed spots, like she says, and it looks a little like weirdly weird variations of color going on but and you can see the before picture of how orange it looked whoa yeah, this is how it looks under under the lights right here in my little studio. i want to see it in the sun show me the sun show me the and sun this whoa outside and as you can tell it is extremely vibrant okay one kind of very pretty i'm not gonna lie that looks very nice. You're still not getting the vibrancy you would have gotten with salon hair color. You're just not, and you're probably not gonna ever. And also, she didn't even pick that color. Like, she just wanted red, and it just gives her whatever red reacts with her hair. She said she gets a different color every time, which is so weird, and like, aren't you a little scared of that? Like, isn't that a little, like, I don't know. All right, Crystal, thank you for that. It was a little quick, a quick little video. I just wanted to see something that was like really bright and vibrant with henna, and honestly, looked decent. Look decent. So I think what I learned today is that henna is f weird, man. 
and I will not be using it anytime soon. Um, I'm basically less convinced than I was before watching that it's a good thing to use in your hair. I'm gonna have to say, not a good idea, would not recommend. Just use a demi-permanent color. It's not gonna damage your hair at all. It just deposits color, it doesn't lift. The thing that breaks your hair off is lifting. It's lifting. I just don't know what the point of henna is and um, I don't know. And all you henna lovers out there, come for me. Come for me, honey, I'm ready. Not my thing. And if it's your thing, go for it. Live your extra henna life if you want to. I don't know, I don't care. But anyways, you guys, don't forget to follow X Mono on Instagram. Check out Glitterati, link below. And thank you all so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time.